going on guys? I'm Lauren from RV's very own society. Welcome to the Tyrant's legendary walkthrough for Halo Wars. Today's mission will be Relic Interior. Uh, hey, Tyrant, didn't we already do this mission? No, we did Relic Approach. Nice job, Lauren. You're three for three now. Sergeant, is this what the aliens were after? Seems so, ma'am. They sure paid a price trying to defend it. All quiet now. Hey, what are you doing? Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Now that's not what I expected. Heresy! Remove this filth! Take cover! These guys just don't know when to quit. We're gonna need a little backup. This is Forge. We've been ambushed at the relic site. I'm pinned down with Anders. We've taken heavy losses. We need reinforcements now. Sergeant, Alpha Base won't be able to respond in time. We've got Grizzlies inbound from Spirit of Fire. Hold on down there. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Tyrant's legendary walkthrough for Halo Wars. This is the third mission of the game, Relic Approach. You start out with a pair of grizzly tanks. Grizzly, of course, named for the disease-ridden American-dwelling woodland animal. And of course, when I mean disease, I mean hepatitis. Adorable! Now, your main objective to this mission is first to rescue Anders, as well as Sergeant Forge. I guess we're rescuing him for a change, as well as the nice... Nice, attractive. Sorry, trailed off for a second there. Um, to get there, your best strategy is, of course, to keep your two grizzly tanks alive. They are already pre-armed with canister shells as a secondary Y weapon. And since this is a micromanagement mission where there are no bases, we're going to take a very similar approach to how we did mission one. You're basically going to yo-yo between groups of enemies at least during the first portion of this mission, you really want to keep your Grizzlies alive long enough to rescue Forge, as well as get to the bridge where Anders will hack into the mainframe and do this, that, and the other, because let's face it, even though most people don't even know Linux, apparently she knows an alien operating system that no one's heard of in 100,000 years. That last little group right there, you really can't yo-yo away from because they're not going to follow you. But you want to target these canisters for this next group right here. Also, do not let those elites with the swords touch you. Now, if you hit the canisters, just like in Halo 3, it'll blow up everything around it. So I tend to save it for my Y ability, and once it finally hits, I'll go ahead and hit the canisters just like that, and everything around it dies. When the elites with swords do start approaching you, you want to drive away quickly, and while you're doing so, the tanks will, of course, fire back, so they still cannot touch you. So now we're going to get this canister right here as well. We have another Covenant Patrol along the way. So far, tanks are doing quite all right. If you lose your tanks, you're probably going to fail the mission. Again, this is legendary. Your enemies hit hard, and because this is a micromanagement mission, you cannot generate more. And unlike the previous two missions, you really don't pick up any troops along the way except where Far... <laughs> Fargent Sorge is located. So here, just keep driving through. Hunters are obviously going to be your top priority whenever you see them. Uh, take advantage of the canisters whenever you do find them. They don't seem to hurt you, just the Covenant. 
Again, hunters are always your top priority. They do hit hard, and as you can see, my grizzly on the top right there is already very close to down health. Now, they actually have quite a bit of resilience to them, believe it or not. Even though I'm so low on health in that one, more than likely it's going to last at least for a few more battles. So again, you want to try to steer away from the enemies as much as possible because they you can get more range on them than they can on you with the exception of wraiths, and there is one wraith later on in this mission. There's technically a second one if you go the wrong way, but we're not going to go the wrong way, are we? Are we? Okay, so focus on that shade turret, go around Sergeant Forge is right there, just in the upper right. You can see it on the radar. Take your time here. Retreat as necessary. Enemies, from what I can tell, just continuously respawn from both the top left and I believe over there on the right too until you actually free Forge and Anders. More than likely they're both going to go down which is fine because it, as long as you stay there long enough they will both get back up again and you'll be okay. Oh my wedding vows. Okay, so you're going to have a couple of pairs of hunters here as well. They're going to be pinning down your units. If you start getting ganged up on, immediately retreat. Again, you do need to keep these grizzlies alive at least for one more battle after this. And then after that, it's not quite so bad. So again, focus on the hunters. You cannot control the units on the other side until you've eliminated the forces that are keeping them down. Forge is down. So again, those are the elites. I'm just trying to make sure the coast is clear before I go back in to finish off the hunters. The elites are already pretty weak. We've got a shade turret right there. Go ahead and take care of that. Again, you, want, you really do want to wait for your Y ability to charge up because it will hit hard. As you can see, I mean, look how resilient that tank is. I mean, it, we were already like at 10% health two minutes ago when it's still standing. Okay, now that the hunters are gone, we are back online, so you've got reinforcements. Fairly effective ones at that, except for Princess Anders. Well, at least I know how to repair them. I made a few improvements. My own Oh, my honeymoon battles. Cover me. I'm pulling back with Anders. Moving out. So this little part right here, you've got a bridge that Anders needs to hack into. Or Anders or whatever. Local units. This part always screws me too, going back and forth between local units and all units. Anders is the one who needs to get to that bridge. She's the one who's gonna hack into it. Once she does, you'll have to hold your ground for one minute as enemies come from both the top and that door on the right. Ready. Trying to move them in the right place. Apparently they're too stupid to climb over the tank. All units. I guess she's so fragile she doesn't want to break a nail! All units. Okay, so we'll get her over here, and we already have reinforcements coming. These will be pretty Over easy up. to handle. They retreat fairly quickly. Give me a minute, and I'll get this bridge operational. Well, most of them do anyway. The others are just stupid. Let's give her some privacy. All right, so here you go. You've got one minute now. I'm going to try to keep my damaged Watch those doors. tank out of farm's way as much as possible. Of course, it's going to go in anyway. I'm pretty sure it was built by the suicide grunts. Focus on one enemy at a time. Again, the hunters are your top priority. There aren't a lot of hunters in this particular segment of the mission, so you're okay. For the most part, the elite's easy to kill. Use your Y command with the... Oh, and grizzly number one is down. Spoke too soon. But your marines are very effective with their grenades, so use those against the grunts and elites. And they're also effective against the hunters too, but again, I really do try to save my Y for the grizzly tank. For those. 
preserve your Y as long as you possibly can. You know, when enemies are really ganging up on you, that's one thing. Or when you're encountering a tougher than usual enemy, that too. So we're at zero now. Now for some reason, I have a hard time getting Anders to follow me here. I don't know if it's just, you know, me, you know, effing up the controls or, or what the deal is. Um, if you forget to... Actually, let me backtrack for a second. This is a tricky part because you're going to have Covenant constantly coming back. Both from the front and from the rear. That is what she said, isn't it? You want to advance as quickly as possible through here because the enemies are very numerous and you only have a few marines and at this point only one grizzly tank left. Typically you're not going to have more than one. Again, it's you know, this far into the mission your your tanks have taken a beating, so it's really difficult to keep them alive for this long. Here is that one wraith I was telling you about, so make that your top priority, obviously. It goes down pretty easily, not nearly as powerful as your grizzlies. You've got the hunters over here. Go ahead and focus on them next. Grenade's very effective against these guys. I heard, oh, where? She's, oh, I left her. Do not leave her there for too long if you forget to take her with you, because if you come back later, she will be surrounded by Covenant, and your forces will be weak beyond uh, repair. So don't... Yeah. I, I always forget her. I don't know why. I think just because it takes her a minute to become selectable after she hacks the bridge. So at this point, now that I have forgotten about her, I guess this is a good lesson for the walkthrough, go, you're going to have to hold the ground here just for a few minutes. The enemies here are not too fierce. As far as I know, I don't think any hunters come back at this point. It's mainly just deletes and grunts. Alright, now as soon as she's back up again, push forward. Push as quickly as you can. You know, it was not meant to be a sexual innuendo. And after you... You see where the arrow is pointing? You're going to want to round that corner. And again, you're not going to want to engage too many enemies here. At this point, it just isn't worth it because they will continuously spawn and come after you and you just don't have the firepower to deal with them all. So you're going to want to try to rush this last area. The last little bit has a bunch of marines that you cannot control that will basically... How many times have I said basically take a shot every time? Um, every single time you get to this point, you have marines that will back you up. They are not selectable, but they will allow you to make a run for it. And basically, you just want to get to the... Wow, I did it again. You want to get to the landing zone at the end. Now, they say there are too many hunters here. Really, they're not that difficult to kill. Um, but at this point, as you can see, you got Marines right there. They're, the hunters are distracted by them, so there really is a whole lot of point in fighting them unless you were just, you know, that anal about protecting Marines. And, of course, after the travesty of the number of times Cat drove me off a cliff in a Halo Reach, I'm really not that concerned. And oh, second Grizzly is down, so now we're just making a final run for it. And once you get to that zone, it is the end of the mission. Come on. But Anders has to be there with you. You can't just have, you know, your Marines there. Both Forge and Anders need to be there, otherwise you cannot finish the mission. It will not say accomplished. And that is Relic Interior on Legendary. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please rate, comment, and subscribe to MythicTower.com. And stay tuned for new videos every week. Thanks again for watching. And as always, I'm the Tyrant, signing off.